Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to share four quick tips on how to create an aesthetic Instagram feed in 120 seconds or less. Let's get started. Honestly, these tips are really simple, but it took me a while to actually figure them out. And I had to look at a lot of my favorite photographers' feeds to figure out what sort of pattern they were using to have a more aesthetic and consistent feed. And this is what I came up with. It essentially made my profile go from looking like this to looking like this, along with just getting better at photography. So let's get into the four tips. Let's start that timer now. Tip number one, have a consistent color palette. Whether this is through a filter or editing, have a consistent color palette. If you like earth tones, brown, orange, green, etc., use those. And if you have other colors, put them on a carousel and just don't have them as the first image. Tip number two, vary between majority light and majority dark photos. Just like an actual photo, shadows and contrast is important. And imagine your grid or your feed like a giant photo. You wanna have contrast, shadows, and depth to that grid. For a visual, you wanna go from something like this, where the dark marks are your shadows or contrast, to something like this. One way to do that is vary between majority light and dark photos. So the next tip is to preview your photos before posting. I personally use Apple Photos and I just have an album for Instagram and then I add a photo to that album, drag it in place to see what it looks like before I actually post it. This is an important step in just making sure that your grid is actually going to look the way you want it to before posting and having to repost. The final tip I have is to vary between close up and far away shots. This will create more depth in your your Instagram feed and also just give it a little bit of complexity and nuance. Unless your Instagram account is purely like a macro photography account or astrophotography or flat lay, then I would say vary your distances between your shots. This is also going to be more representative of your work and just give people an idea of what you like to shoot and time. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed these tips. I hope they help you out on Instagram. Please leave a comment below if you have any thoughts on these tips or have any additional ones to help people out. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel for future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.